Hi friends, this is Sherry Rita from Wilmette Public Library and I want to share with you a story that I first learned um, in a book by Fiona French called The Maid of the Wood. The story is about a wood carver, a tailor, a jeweler, and a magician who are friends. And they go to market each week together and come home and keep each other company along the way. One night they stay a really long time at the market though and it's late as they start going through the woods. It gets dark and wolves start to howl. And the magician says, you know, maybe we better stay in the woods tonight and build a fire to keep the wild animals away. And in the morning, when it's a little safer, we can make our way home. So the four men gather wood and they make a big space, a big campfire area, and they make spaces to lay down. And the wood carver takes the first turn at keeping watch over the fire. He gets a little bored, so he looks around and he finds a piece of wood that he can carve. He starts to make a little doll. And he gets so involved in his work that he lets the fire burn pretty low. It gets kind of cold and dark and the tailor wakes up and says, what are you doing? The fire has burned so low, the wolves will get us. I better take my turn at the fire. So the woodcarver lies down and he goes to sleep. And the tailor takes his turn, watches the fire, feeds the fire, and he gets a little sleepy and bored and he looks around for something to do. And he finds the piece of wood. It looks like a doll. And he says, you know, I think I'll make this doll some clothes. So he reaches into his bag of scraps and he makes the doll a glorious dress. He works very hard on this dress, making tiny little stitches and pockets and lace until it's the most beautiful dress a doll has ever worn. When his turn is done at the fire, he lays it down. He wakes up the jeweler. He says, okay, it's your turn for the fire. I need a little rest. He goes to sleep. And the jeweler starts to tend the fire and he too gets tired and bored and sleepy and looks around and sees the doll. He notices that the carving is very good work. The face is so lifelike. And the dress is so carefully and beautifully made. He says, you know, I can make this doll some jewels. And he reaches into his bag and he finds diamond chips and pieces of ruby and other fine jewels. And he makes the doll necklaces and, and rings and bracelets until his turn at the fire is done. And then he puts the doll aside and he wakes up the magician. And the magician keeps watch over the fire. And the magician is very alert and he looks for things in every corner. And he sees the doll. What's this? He said, we weren't selling dolls at the market. And he looks at the beautiful carving by the wood carver, the beautiful job of tailoring by the tailor, the marvelous jewelry the doll is wearing. And he says, you know, the only thing left is to breathe life into her. And so he does. He lifts up the doll. He summons all of his power. And he breathes life into her. And he sets her down and she starts to sing and dance and rejoice at the wonder of being alive. Of course, she makes so much noise that she wakes up the woodcarver and the tailor and the jeweler. And the three men gaze for a moment in astonishment. But then they start to argue. You know, she's mine, said the woodcarver. I'm the one who carved her out of wood. Get out of here, said the tailor. She was just a wooden doll until I made her the beautiful clothes that, that light the imagination. No way, said the jeweler. She was a doll until I made her precious. Those are real jewels she's wearing. And the magician raised his voice over all three of them and said, No, she's mine. I'm the one who gave her life. 
The three men argued back and forth and back and forth, and it was getting more and more heated as the sun rose until the maid of the wood said, Ah, excuse me. Thank you for carving me out of wood. And, and, and thank you for making me beautiful clothes and these gorgeous jewels. And thank you, thank you so much for giving me life. But I have life. And I'm not a doll anymore. I'm real. And I think I'm going to go out and see what the real world is like. And so she blew each one of them a kiss. And she went and skipped off down the path to explore the world in front of her. And all four men gazed after her with love. And then they looked at each other and they realized that they each had each other to thank for the love in their world. And they swore to remain friends forever and to be there for the Maid of the Wood.